What animal lathers itself in fertiliser to attract plants? Here's a clue. It's the king of camouflage. It looks like a stone. It makes its own antifoulant, has an expandable mouth, swallows prey alive, has gills but no scales, it sheds its skin but it's not a snake, and it never smiles. So meet the stonefish. We got some little guys up here. We got a reef stony down here, and we've got what they call an estuarine stonefish down here. So this is the one we'll look at. So that's the stonefish. I mean, they're found right throughout the tropical regions, anywhere where you actually get coral reefs and things. And uh, they said, pretty cool animals. You can actually see why they're called stonefish. They look just like stones. But the cool thing about them is they actually grow plants on them. Now, how do they do that? I mean, seriously? They've got all these little lumps and bumps over them that secrete this white sticky fluid that's like a fertiliser. And it promotes plants to grow on them. So cool. So the whole animal is covered in these little warts or bumps. They're like pimples and they're called tubicles. Now the cool thing is that if we take to one here and just squeeze it, you can see all this white fluid that just squeaks out all over the place. That's like a fertiliser. It promotes plants to actually settle on it. But the cooler thing is it promotes plants, but not animals. I mean, you don't want animals to settle on you because animals chew holes in you. But you do want plants so you look like a rock with all sorts of things growing off you. So your prey will come over and think you're actually a stone or a rock. Isn't that neat? And you can also see here, they don't have scales. So they shed their skin like snakes. And that's another reason why you don't want animals settling on you. If you've got no scales, the animals can bore straight into your skin. But looking like a rock like this, this is what you want because your prey is gonna come in over the front and they've got this enormous mouth. So what happens is a little fish swims past here, shoo, down the mouth, thinking it's a rock with all these plants growing off it. Bang, you've got your food and it's going down alive. It's not like sharks that chew them apart. That animal is going down into its stomach, still kicking and screaming as it goes down its throat. So that white sticky fluid is really cool for the fish, but it could be really cool for us. I mean, just imagine this could be the next fertilizer to help grow plants. It could also be really useful for anti phalance on boats. Imagine this could stop animals from settling on the bottom of your boat. The one thing I haven't told you as well is this is the world's most venomous fish. All these spines. But that's another story and another time. It's the nature of science.